Hey guys, so I've recently updated my Sony RX100 Mark III to the latest firmware uh, which I'll be walking you through that update process just in case you want to ensure you don't end up with an expensive paperweight. Uh, the update is pretty simple. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy to go through so you shouldn't have any problems. Now, what do you get from the update? Well, uh, Sony says that um, there are some improvements to underwater photography, something to do with white balance. <laughs> Be very vague right there. And um, there are some overall uh, stability updates, which, let's say generally, they did a lot of things to the camera. I mean, personally, it's kind of hard. I'm not a huge um, camera enthusiast. I don't have a lot of knowledge about these things. So um, I can't really... <laughs> pinpoint uh, what exactly was improved but hey it's the same awesome camera and it works great after the update so yeah let me uh, walk you through it as stated in the title this tutorial is for the RX100 Mark III, Mark IV and Mark V I did a blog post on this where I have the links, the download links for the firmware for each device. You can um, check that out. It's in the description below. Okay, so I've gone ahead and started the uh, downloading of the firmware. On screen, I will uh, show you the precautions that you need to take before uh, updating the device, uh, ensure that you remove the memory card from the camera, check to make sure that your battery is fully charged, set USB connection option in your RX100 settings to mass storage, and ensure that you have the original Sony RX100 cable that came with your device. Uh, let me just go ahead and remove my memory card now. Uh, Sony doesn't recommend this, but it's just a precaution precautionary measure that is. I'm going to power the device on. Okay, here's the version that I'm currently on, which is version 1.20. Okay, um, <laughs> the battery in this uh, device is actually uh, depleted, so let me just I uh, will re replace that with a fully charged battery before proceeding. This is very important. Ensure that your battery is fully charged. Okay. Alright, so I'll just run the firmware now. It download is complete. Okay, let me connect the camera. And again, ensure that you're using the original Sony RX100 USB cable for this. Okay, let me click next here. Follow the computer instructions, okay. Alright, so click next again. Alright, so here the you'll need to reset the device. Um, just simply click OK on the camera itself. Okay. And okay. Uh, let us continue next. Also, at that point, uh, you will need to disconnect the hardware in Windows. The instructions will, um, came up in the updater, so you will just need to follow that. Okay. Alright, so I'll just hit run and yeah, this is <laughs> all that we need to do. So the firmware is now being pushed to the RX100. So um, I have skipped ahead <laughs> to the end of the process, which very simple process. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm now on version 2.0. So if you did everything correctly, then. Okay, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Yeah, you know the usual. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And um, yeah, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And yeah, that's it. Peace.